Hi, my beloved friends. Here we are in this beautiful moment, in this beautiful month, the first month, the Spiritist Month of the World. So in together, Faith, Liz, and Saul, they will talk about, am I a medium? So Faith, over to you, over to Liz, over to Saul. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here in such great company of my friends and all of you who are willing to listen to us. Thank you. Yes, likewise, it's, it's good to be here and to, to be able to share about um, the medium's book and its effect on, on myself and, and my friends, I'm sure, too. Welcome, everybody. It's lovely to be here and uh, for this important recording of everything about who we really are and to share the experiences that we've had that can help young mediums um, to progress in the right way. Am I a medium? What do you say? It's Anyone always, can talk. <laughs> it's always a good question. It's always a worthy question. And, uh, um, and um, let's make it clear that it's not a matter of um, doubting or self-doubting, but it's, uh, I, I take it as a question to remind me of what it entails to be a medium to, to uh, decide to develop this um, ability and, uh, and in order to be a better tool for, for the good of all. It's a big, it's a big task, but it's good to ask a question. Yeah, I think um, a, a, a preliminary question could also be, am I a spirit? You know, and, and of course, many of these discussions cover that, you know, online. So uh, many people may have already accepted that. But if someone is coming fresh to this uh, discussion, they might say, well, I don't even know if I'm a spirit, so how can I know I'm a medium? So, um, you know, we, we have to accept that um, there is a reality beyond the material. And then when we can accept that through, through studying a little, through looking at the evidence of reincarnation of past lives, which can help a lot. And there's, there's many people who have studied this um, and Googling that and looking at the spiritist um, research and that helps a lot. But if we accept we're a spirit, then um, mediumship is, uh, follows on from that because um, we can all receive the messages of the spirits, even just as, as um, what we may think is our intuition, maybe a good spirit to guide often a relative maybe who's passed on who's guiding us and wants to say no 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 so go this way it's this is the better course for you so i think the answer is we're all mediums um and a lot of that mediumship is hidden to us so we don't necessarily realize how much we're guided for for good or for ill so part of this discussion can be looking at the role of the, the mediums book and the role that spirits play in our lives. So I, I welcome that and open the floor to, uh, to more discussion. Yes, I think um, it's a universal question. Who am I? Where did I come from? And you know that um, some people around you, even yourself, have um, or observe some psychic abilities. These can be in any shape or form. Um, you might hear spirit, you might get intuition. We all have intuition. Um, but yes, it was really important um, when you wish to actually develop that you do actually have um, really, really good experienced teachers to actually lead you on your path um, for the simple reason, um, it is for your safety, um, knowledge protects and ignorance endangers in any event, in anything we do. And mediumship is no different. And um, I personally really, really enjoyed um, studying through the mediumship courses at the Spiritist Centers 
where they give you a very, very safe environment, a fun environment, but yet a serious environment. Because what we have been given, we all have some ability of some form or other of psychic skills. We just haven't developed them yet. And um, there are many cases where children are talking to their friends um, as they're younger and their parents are wondering who they're talking to because they can't see anybody else around. And these are typical examples where um, guidance and empathy and understanding is really, really important. Uh, there was quite a good um, series done on an American television um, series called Young Psychics. And that gives you a really, really um, good in-depth experience of some of the things that can actually go wrong when children are actually communicating um, until uh, another medium comes in and shows them the way and explains what is happening. And also to the parents, because it's important that the parents as well understand um, and encourage and also uh, protect their children uh, because it is not, it's not a bad thing to have psychic abilities. It is, as you say, it's who we are and it's a beautiful thing and beautiful gift to develop in the right way along the right path with more experienced people who um, can actually advise you and take you uh, along the different paths and the different abilities that you might actually possess. So yes, I think it's important that um, where possible um, and uh, from reading the mediums book that uh, you're not alone and that you have people who have been there before you who understand everything about this beautiful gift that we have been given and um, help you develop in the right way. The importance of spiritism to come and Kardec organize this the mediumship with Jesus. That we are, is a charity, no? Faith to work in Spirit Center as a medium to rescue and help, no? It is, yes. And uh, um, Liz has mentioned and, and Sol mentioned the, the, the medium's book, the spirit's book and the medium's book. When I first read them, but when I was first introduced to them, um, I was already um, aware of, um, of the things, of, of things that I could see and, and uh, hear and do. But there wasn't a, a, a full understanding, and uh, and the danger of not having an understanding is that's when we might lose control and and uh, acquire and absorb other other people's fears about something that can be explained. And so, um, the interesting thing about these two books, one was uh, the like some said, the awareness of being spirit yes um i am i am fey at the at, at this time at this time in in history of times who knows who i'll be i don't know in some time from now and so this this is one it gives us it, it gave me an, a sense of identity and uh uh unmistaken identity so if if i felt so connected to a place or to people or to to habits or tradition um that probably was a good reason even if those things if those realities were not the ones i was living at that time but they were still part of my story let's say and and the medium's book helped to um to brought to light um a structure, you know, to, 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 to help with, to, to guide the study, to guide the understanding and uh, uh, a certain discipline of studying. Um, because um, I would hear that sometimes as well, 
you know, when you have a, a mediums, uh, it could be daydreaming, fantasizing about life or, or cheating life, or like resorting to a different reality to find solutions. And then I said, well, it's no more cheating than going to school. You go to school to learn, and, and, and uh, to go to school and learn, you need a certain discipline, um, a certain, uh, what's the word? Yeah, there, 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 there is a, um, a certain set of rules um, to abide to simply because we are there seeking something higher. You know, even for one more step, we need to abide to those rules for our safety and the progress. Are you using your mediumship to work to rescue, or say? Big pardon? Are you using your mediumship with Jesus to rescue, to help his spirits? Uh, yes, as, as well, as, as much uh, as I can to the best of my ability. And uh, yes, because um, I think it doesn't take uh, that much. Sometimes there is this overall image that one needs to sort of uh, incorporate and look like someone else, speak like someone else in order to, to bring this evidence. But the fact that we learn how to perceive our environment, how to sense our environment, how to sense a presence, or uh, to trust our intuition, you know, when you get to a place, you get to close to someone, and you feel that something uh, is a bit unstable, something is a bit sad, um, I, I believe that my work is, if, well, if I try to bring the vibration of that place uh, a few steps higher, but simply connecting to a father, connecting to Jesus, you know, so that should be a very good start to start breaking the ash of, uh, of uh, maledictions or, or whatever it is that's trying to isolate people one souls one from another and this is what my, my mentors would say look whatever ills that there are they will work as ash um isolating the the, the electricity between the, the good connection between people and our work is well if you can't do it sideways do it upwards because then all that uh, the goodness or the blessing will fall back upwards, you know, into people. So, and then we reduce that barrier. That's, that's how I see it. I know, I know um, Lee for so long and uh, we have in common one teacher, Janet Duncan, no, Lee? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you said so many years ago, I don't know how long ago, but you learned with Janet. Janet is a good teacher a good coordinator, facilitator. I think everybody that passed it to Alan Kardec Study Group, Center for Spiritist Teachings in the UK, in London, learn a lot, the right, the right way to use mediumship with Jesus according to spiritism, the way that it is charitable, is not a show, but it's something that really makes life's difference. No least. If you want to talk a little bit about it after that, so. Yeah, so I'd like to say a little bit about myself um, as well. Um, I come from a line of um, psychic people on the mother's side of my family, and my sisters and, and my daughter are psychic as well. And people um, search for truth and, and to find out who they are, where they go, when they die, and everything like that, at some time or other. And um, the catalyst for me was in 2004, when my son, Michael, who was 25, passed on in very strange circumstances. However, uh, the hunt was on because I wanted to know how he was, where he was, 
if he was, you know, if he had gone home um, or if he was was stuck or, or having problems. And I really start searching. And that's when um, all sorts of spontaneous things started happening because I'd knocked on the door and it opened. I was really seriously seeking. And um, it turned out that my next door neighbor happened to be a member of a spiritualist group, spiritist group here in London. And from there, um, I was wanting to do anything to be able to communicate with my son, to find out how he was, but also to study and find out what happens to us when we pass on. Um, because so many things didn't occur to me in my normal day-to-day -day life of living. Um, and so when my son passed on, that was my catalyst. And I was like a sponge for knowledge, all knowledge of everything esoteric, um, knowledge of other worlds, knowledge of who I was, um, knowledge of all the different spirits and the different types of mediumship. And that's how I actually joined Janet Duncan um, at the Spiritist Center in London, in Walthamstow. And I just devoured all those beautiful Spiritist books that um, are written in many languages, but I was seeking everything I could get my hands on in English. And the answers were there. Um, in all the lovely books from Andre Louise and Chico Xavier, um, or so many people about life at home, life in the astral world. And it was so um, comforting for me to um, be able to read and understand just more about where we came from, where my son had gone, how he was and everything. And things just developed from there. I just went on and um, since then I've done such intensive study. And the information that I was receiving and the rabbit hole I went down in, in seeking truth and knowledge, um, has lasted right up till now and teaches you so much that you just not will not learn in school. And this is such an important part of who we are as spirit that it's something that I would like to see, you know, parents understanding and educating their children from a very young age because it gives us such a foundation, a true foundation it gives us grounding and it gives us confidence. But most importantly, you cannot fear death. And the one thing that we have um, on this planet is fear and fear of the unknown. And fear in itself causes so many diseases, cancers and things like that, the stress and everything. When you know, nothing can get to you nothing can really really upset you because you know that you're eternal beings so we're just here having a physical experience as spiritual beings i'll leave it at that at the moment thank you wonderful this it's wonderful to understand and pass on the information the good information to your fellows natives here, because I am the only Brazilian here in this group, and I feel myself so comforted with your teachings, your talks, your conversation, that is the natural ones that the native people does, because we are from Brazil, we have a huge mountain of books, etc., cetera, it teaches, etc. Cetera. And here, as you said before, you are seeking books in English, and you have now, no, Solomon? You That's like right, this? yeah, many. And um, this was my introduction to, you know, to spiritism really was um, coming across, um, I think it was Nosala, um, 
uh, Astral City, I think it's it's now yeah. called, um, and um, you know that opened up uh, the, the, you know the, the world of. Um, I mean, I already had belief in in the spiritual world, but it, it opened up a a more um, precise understanding and a map really of um, you know the the precise. Um, nature of the spiritual world and um, you know what precisely happens step by step through through um, Nosala and, and the film it is also very good um, Astral City um, and and then also obviously the Alan Kardec books are very very useful um, and I think most people who who read you know the the medium's book the spirit's book and um, uh, the gospel according to spiritism that really starts a whole journey you know as as um, you're just talking you, you know um, and um, that's that's one that for most people continues you know because it's it's really opening opening everything up but also a lot of people have stuff that they can't really that isn't covered by anything you know like our experience <clears throat> often as a, as a spirit in this material world is not really encapsulated by anything you know religion doesn't quite fit it has something of course jesus's teachings are very valuable and and you know essential you know to spiritism and and to, to most um, religious life, even if um, in, in the Muslim tradition, you know, he may not be the center, but he's certainly important. But um, it, it doesn't cover everything. You know, the Bible misses some things out in a sense because we have so much research now through spiritism, which fills in the gaps. You know, what happens when you die? Well, Andre Lewis can tell us, you know, mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot there, but also, you know, when I was growing up as a boy, I had a lot of natural mediumship, but, you know, if I told people, you know, like I would see things that were going, going to happen. So I'd say there's going to be a big storm. This was 1987 in England. There was a huge storm that wiped out all the trees. Everyone in England knows this. Now I saw this coming. I just had these, premonitions and I said there'll be a very big storm all the trees are gonna go down of course people are like shut up don't be silly and, and then of course it happened again 1990 there was a there was quite a storm and, and I said to some people you know these trees these big trees all of them are going to fall down and, and I said it several times I just look just be quiet you know <laughs> this is silly <laughs> and then you know uh, the lady where I was living came to me you know a year later and said Solomon, all the trees, they fell down. Now, these are very, very tall trees. They look pine trees. It looked like they would last another 200 years. They were very big and strong, and it did not look like they would fall down. Now, and, and I did feel like, yeah, maybe I should shut up. I can see these people. They don't like to hear these things, you know. But it was very clear to me. It was very strong. These trees will fall down, you know. And so sometimes it's, it's not only that we have these premonitions but we have a calling to share them because other people need to be woken up mm. and when we share them and it happens they're like wow how did he know how did he have that presentiment what that's gave right. him that advance notice and sometimes that's just we're we're given that as a gift to pass on and then other people have a chance of getting some faith and maybe a very slow journey but sometimes we are just someone knocking on the door you know, and, and other people have to have a, uh, that journey to find the books or the information or the path, um, you know, to get there. But the medium's book is, is very important because it, it kind of will, will detail that and show, you know, there are mediums who have that, you know. Um, and, you know, it, it compartmentalizes all of mediumship and shows you um, all the different types of mediumship. So it's, um, in a sense, it's a bit like um, a washing machine manual, you know, for mediumship. There's, there's a lot in it. So at first read, you're like, wow, well, I, I don't even know what this is. I didn't know this was a thing. But it's very, very important because if you recognize as uh, you know most of us do once we, we study spiritism that we are a medium, then 
you know, I want to know what is the whole thing about mediumship, you know, what are the limits of it, you know, what, what's the moral consequence of, of it, you know, how do I use it? And, and so that's, it's a really vital book for that. The importance that I'm seeing here in this uh, conversation is that you can be a medium with no morale at all, and you should work in your morality to be a good medium. Otherwise, the mediumship is an energy that can kill or can illuminate. Okay? So, um, your final, um, final counsel or oh, words that you want to say to our public, you know, that you are watching us now. You can say faith, Liz, and so, please. Thank you. Well, I think the word that comes to me, you know, listening to, well, listening to my friends and uh, thinking of uh, the sort of work that I've been able, that luckily you've been able to do with other people, with other mediums in, in very practical um, um, areas, is that the word is integrity. You know, we learn uh, um, mediums are people who seek um, information, who seek the truth, and who seek to strengthen uh, this, this trace of integrity to, to the work. That's vital. So that's, that's what, how, what takes us to uh, a secure um, path, knowing that we're doing our best, but we are not just trusting our, our own uh, achievements, our own medals, but trying to, to be better at uh, what we do and as people in the first place. I would like to further um, what Saul was saying when he touched on religion, because when I was seeking as much knowledge as I could uh, about, you know, spirit, spiritual life, mediumship and everything, there wasn't much out there. There really wasn't. And I don't think there's that much out today. If it wasn't for the spiritist centers, everything Alan Kardec co uh, collated, all the people who are doing such wonderful work in the spiritist centers and the books that are written through psychography by the spirit through a medium. And those books are so vital for people starting off on their journey to get that foundational knowledge. Knowledge protects ignorance and dangers. Luckily, I have a library of 2,000 quite rare books here now of esoteric subjects. Um, but it's really important, and I was so grateful that I had the umbrella of the Spiritist Center while I was actually seeking and developing the mediumship faculties in the right way so that I wasn't diverted, I wasn't misled, I wasn't deluded. And I wasn't deceived because, as they say, a dead Protestant is a dead Protestant. You know, you just as you meet people out in the street who are good, bad or indifferent, you get the same because those people, they're the same people when they die. And that is what you can actually channel into. So it's so important to have that guidance. And through part of my journey in 2006, I actually took my mother on a lovely trip to Brazil and we went around all the lovely spiritist centers, met all the lovely people, the beautiful things that they're doing for the AIDS, the elderly and the orphans. We met Chico Xavier's son, his adopted son. And it was such an experience. And I will never ever stop being a spiritist because it's who we are. And it's the only real umbrella that we really have here that is all about spirit. As I said to my daughter, you know, um, it is so many things. And then um, on the other side, we also went and visited Waldo Vieira, who studies consciousness. Well, what are we? We are pure consciousness, gravity waves. Everything is gravity. Um, so yes, there's the consolation side and then there's the intellectual side, you know, of, of mediumship and of spiritism as well. 
and it is just a mine of such helpful information. I really, really do recommend going along the path of spiritism. You will gather other information along the way, but please make that your main um, place to go to and the lovely people you meet and develop from there for protection and for enjoyment. Well said. Um, I think uh, another aspect of, of uh, all of this is that, you know, without charity, there is no salvation. Um, what spiritism does is it offers mediumship as a charity, you know, as a gift uh, alongside its other gifts of philanthropy, um, which you, you did uh, detail. So um, mediumship should be seen as a responsibility um, and the medium's book sets that out as, um, you know, as a framework to um, produce that mediumship morally um, and carefully with safeguards, both for the mediums um, in groups um, and um, for whatever is produced and for, for everybody involved. And that's important um, also that it is a charity, that it's not for money. So um, that helps establish it and, and um, differentiate it from, you know, cheaper, let's say, types of mediumship, which are really about getting rich and mm -hmm. um, not about passing on um, spiritual truths and guiding humanity, which is really the path of um, the medium's book and, and you know, really helping um, to helping all the mediums to come, both uh, those working now and in the future, to, to help them on, on their path of producing, um, as, as you're mentioning, all these wonderful works which are, you know, brought through the mediums. Um, and uh, they really are fantastic. So, you know, that's, it's a lifetime um, to read them all. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm very grateful to have read uh, the medium's book and uh, I, I thoroughly recommend people getting hold of it and it's free um, to read online so do google the medium's book Alan Kardec and uh, read it as soon as you can and you're right what what we're gifted or given for free you know we give and share for free mm -hmm. yeah. and it's that uh, to to help humanity and to help educate people on things that have been very kept very very quiet and very secret really but it, it's such a shame because it's who we really are the wonderful conversation to our audience our dear friends all over the world that you are watching the first world spiritist month 2000 of april 2002 2022. Thank you all for watching us. Please share the word, pass the information to others. That will be very good to share as much as we can the good information. So Solomon Waters, Miss Ashley, Faye Waddington, you are my brothers, brother and sisters of my heart. I love you all and I love our audience all as well. Thank you, Phil, for that. Bless you all. Bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.